Good morning, everybody. As you jump in on, I want to say welcome to 21 days of prayer and fasting. It's day two, and uh, I'm excited to be praying with you guys. Uh, feel free if you'd like to turn on your camera, you are invited to see some faces jumping on. But uh, how amazing that we get to be together this morning, that we get to praise our God together. We get to start our day off with him. I'm so grateful that you chose to be here. Uh, so yesterday, if you were in service, we had these available, our 21 days of prayer, prayer guides. If you didn't get one of these, they are available on the website, blazechurch.org slash 21 days. And what we're going to do Monday through Friday is we are going to have a time of scripture reading and then a time of prayer together uh, based on the daily focus. And so you're going to want to get one of these and then kind of just be praying. And I want to remind everybody what the point of these 21 days is. It's singular. It's be closer to Jesus. So my prayer is that I would be closer to Jesus on January 27th than I am today on January 8th. Like that's the prayer that through this time, I would be more connected to him, be disconnected from the things of this world, patterns, thought processes, responses, choices, all of that, want that out and want to be connected to God more. And so we believe that happens when we choose to pray and when we choose to fast. So today's focus is dependence on him, dependence on him. I thought about that word. What does it mean to be dependent on him? Well, to depend on someone is to rely fully. It's to say, I can't do it on my own. It's man, I, I need this. I need this person. Hey, during 21 days of fasting, we're learning what we might be dependent on that's not God. And realizing I'm not as dependent on that as I thought. I actually need to be dependent on him. And the verse of this day is Zechariah 4, 6. I'm going to read it and then I'm going to give you a little context. It says, not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord Almighty. So what's going on here? God's speaking. And what is this all about? We want to know the context. Well, he's speaking to Zechariah, the prophet, specifically to share a message of encouragement to a man named Zerubbabel. Now, I have a boring name, Keith. A fun name is Zerubbabel. That's a fun name to have. Who was Zerubbabel? He was someone who was chosen during the time when the Jewish people were returning to Jerusalem to rebuild the temple. So imagine if your job after being in exile for 70 years in Babylon, and now you're going back and you're chosen to rebuild the temple. It's kind of a big deal. It's kind of a big job to take on. But he's chosen, and as he goes back with Ezra and the prophets, Zechariah was one of the prophets, and looks at Zerubbabel, who is tempted to try to accomplish something great in his own strength. Because again, it's a big deal. It's a big project. There's something big God-sized in front of him. And God reminds Zechariah, make sure Zerubbabel knows this is not done by might. It's not done by strength or power. This will actually be accomplished by my spirit. In other words, Zerubbabel, before you put your hands to work, I want you to position your heart to seek me. I want to make sure that you're focused on, you need my spirit. Before you need your hands to do this, before you need your head to get involved, it won't even happen that way. There's another verse in scripture that says, those who labor, labor in vain, if not for God. Mm -hmm. We need God's presence. So, hey, as we start 21 days together, day two, we start with this truth. I'm dependent on God. I'm dependent on him. So my question for you this morning, and we're going to pray is what's the God-sized thing that you're trying to accomplish in your own strength? And will you depend on him? So I want you to think, some of you, the God-sized thing is you're trying to raise children who will know Jesus. That's God-sized. You can't do it on your own. You can't do it with your parenting blog. You can't do it with recommendations. No, you need the strength of God. Some of you, you're trying to live financially responsible. 
That's God's signs. Okay, you need his spirit to move on you. You're trying to have healthy relationships and friendships. That's God's size. You're, you're trying to live well and, and finish this thing strong, like have a legacy. That's God's size. So it's not on your own strength. It is by his spirit. So what a better way to start off our week than to say, I need the spirit of God today. I need the words that God gave Zachariah to Zerubbabel. Don't go after this temple on your own. Don't go after your relationships, your finances, your parenting, your singleness, your marriage. Don't go after it on your own. It's only by the Spirit of God. So I want to pray for you right now. And I'm going to ask you if you like, because I believe our chat is open, if you know what that God-sized thing is, maybe it's one word you want to put there. Go ahead and put it because we want to be praying for you. So would you want to, want to pray something like, I'm praying for my children. I'm praying for my marriage. It's God size. I'm praying for my finances. Because we want to know what this list is as a leadership team to say, man, the church is going after these god size things. It's so beautiful. But may they not do it on their own strength. May they do it by the spirit of God. So that, that should be available to you. If it's not today, it will be tomorrow. Uh, but we're working on all those features. So I'm going to pray now for the next five minutes. If you're driving, keep your eyes open. It's tempting to close your eyes during prayer. Don't do it. If you're, if you're stationary, you can go ahead and close your eyes if you'd like. But let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you that you woke us up this morning. It's a blessing that we get to call on your name at the start of our day. Lord, I'm so filled with just encouragement that you would meet us here and that your name is good. It's a strong tower to run to. Your name is banner of victory. We don't have defeat when we run to your name. God, your, your name is righteousness. We don't have to attempt things on our own godliness and goodness. You're, you, you are a righteousness. You're the one who covers us. God, your name is shepherd. And oh, how we need you to be the one that leads us and guides us as we pursue God-sized dreams. Your name is Jira, the provider. You will meet every one of our needs. God, I thank you that we can go to you, the one whose name is healer and sanctifier. We seek you this morning as a church. God, I thank you for the word that you gave to Zechariah to pass on to Zerubbabel, to encourage him. Don't go at this temple building alone. It won't happen that way. You need the spirit of God. And that is the prayer we pray this morning. Dependence on you seeking and relying your spirit today. Father, I pray every person is in this prayer service that they would seek you above all things, seek you in their singleness to know that you're the sustainer, to seek you in their marriage, to know that you're, you're their sustainer and their parenting, that it's your spirit that sustains us in our relationships, in, in purchases and new homes that are needed. Uh, in, in uh, career moves that are needed, in your direction in our lives for healing in our bodies that's needed. We seek your spirit, God. We can't do it on our own. Lord, I pray for our church, Blaze Church. We know the God-sized dream you've put in front of us to establish a landmark that will outlive us as a legacy marker in this community. God, that's God-sized, and we pray for your spirit to be with us. Every single time we gather, we have a God-sized dream to see the lost saved, and we know that won't happen by our own strength. It happens by your spirit. And so today, our prayer is dependence on you. May we seek your face. I thank you for every person who has chosen to jump on this call this morning Lord, I pray that they would have a renewed sense of your spirit in their life today, that they would have one of the best Mondays of their life, not because of circumstances, but because your spirit is with each one of us. And so thank you that we can depend on you. Thank you that you're faithful, that you go before us, that you are with us today. Lord, we seek you above all things. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Blaze Church, thank you for investing 10 minutes of your morning. Some of you got up earlier than you ever have. You didn't even know 645 existed. And here it is. And here you are. 
And here's what I want you to do. Come back on tomorrow. Every single day, we're going to gather, going to have 10 minutes like that, five minutes of a little teaching, five minutes of prayer, going to encourage you, give you opportunity to chat a little bit in the chat, drop some things you're praying for, and then we're going to go on our day. Blazechurch.org slash 21 days. At seven o'clock this morning, Church of the Highlands starts their live prayer service. We always partner with them during this time. So you can go right from this room, go on the website and join that prayer service. That's what we're going to do. And just keep praying all morning long. Love you guys. To seek God, depend on him. We'll see you tomorrow morning. God bless.